back with another video, you guys. And today, I'm doing a very skill, I want to say, you guys. Let me back up a little bit. Today, I'm going to be doing a whole dinner. I got bored, really, honestly. And I was kind of craving a lamb ah. mac and cheese. Excuse me, Mommy. you guys. You guys hear this noise. That's my son in the background. But I was craving, like, mac and cheese, like, baked mac and cheese, like, the whole nine yards, mashed potatoes, homemade mashed potatoes, lamb chops, broccoli. So, I decided to go ahead and do a cooking video. And, you guys, this is highly requested. A lot of y'all wanted me to go and cook some stuff. So, I'm actually super duper excited to do this. Plus, you know, practice, practice, practice. I just feel like, you know, I'm your girl starting learning how to cook some dishes. And I heard that lamb chops is really easy to make, but it's going to be my very first time making lamb chops. So don't look at me uh, like if you want, I don't know, like, you know, for professional wise, this is not professional at all. You guys, this is my very first time making baked macaroni and this is my very first time making lamb chops. But we're going to get straight into it. So the first thing we're going to do is... Get the potatoes. We're gonna do the potatoes first. I got my very lucky, uh, happy helper who's actually gonna be eating the food with me. We're cooking each other. We're cooking ourselves dinner. But we're gonna wash this. Come, what what job you want? You wanna peel the uh? What's the other one? That's the other one. Uh, bitch. <laughs> if you peel these, I can get the noodles boiling for the mac and cheese, and we, and we can do tea. I cut these again. Us with this. So we're just gonna wash these bad boys off. What you wanna put them in? The pot. No, but you need to peel the skin in the pot. What? Oh yeah, use the bowl. We only making this many four. We only peeling four because it's only like this. So oh, we don't peel them. I'm gonna demonstrate the peeling process. If y'all got one of these, this is what we use a little potato peeler. No. Oh, that's a good one. You just do this. And then it just comes straight off. It's the best way to do it. My mind. So, Kobe gonna do that. What I'm gonna do is, I got these elbow noodles. I'm about to put these on the stove and boil them. And then we're gonna get into season the mother lamb. Which I'm super excited about, y'all. I watched a whole bunch of YouTube videos on how to make it. So, I'm pretty confident. Don't look that hard. I'm pretty confident. That girl, this must have been for like a whole party. This was a lot. What kind of clothes this is? One box? Yeah, one box. That trash thing ain't work out too well. Huh? It's like going everywhere, pissing me off. Okay. Boom, bada boom, bada boom. Oh man, I don't have the mac and cheese in that one, but I don't quick. The, um, my hands washed out. I should really learn how to cook, but I just don't know. You should. I just don't know. Like it would be hard to seasoning and stuff, girl. Marinating. I think we're supposed know. to marinate those, see? What? The lamb chops. What's marinate? Leave it on that for a while. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm gonna put some of this as we get. Okay, guys. So now it is time that we season the lamb chops. Okay, so. I got six of them right here. I'm gonna put them in this thing. I'm gonna wash them first. Good. I'm gonna wash them and put them in this little thing.
right, you guys. So after I cleaned the lamb chops, I went ahead and chopped some of the potatoes. I put them in like, I just cut them in little small pieces as you guys can see. Okay, you guys, so we are ready. Lamb chops are here. Excuse me if the lighting is horrible. Okay, you guys, so what we're gonna do is, first we're gonna put some olive oil on both of them, both sides. And this is, you guys, I'm not a professional. This is completely what I learned off of YouTube, but this is very, very beginner friendly. So, work with me. If I use too much, oh well. If I don't use enough, oh well. We'll see what it tastes like at the end. I'm just gonna pour it. Oh, that's a lot. And I'm just flip it, honestly. So that it can get on both of them, both sides. I want both sides to be covered in the olive oil. Flip it. Flip it. So, boom. We've got the olive oil, olive, I mean olive oil should popping on both sides. Purr. Okay. So then next, I guess you use your choice of seasoning. I put Tony's on everything. So I'm gonna put, this is a brand new thing, Tony's. Excuse me. I'm gonna put Tony's on mine. Both sides, Tony's down. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, Tony's down. Boom, garlic powder. I must have gotten everything new. Yes, I'm almost out of garlic powder. Garlic powder and black pepper. <coughs> I covered my own hands. And I'm huh, baby? A monster muscle. You want monster muscle? I'm 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 monster baba muscle. You want to do baba? No. Hold on, guys. No. What you want? This one. Here, pick who's on you want. It's right there. Okay. So you guys, I put garlic powder. I also put black pepper. I'm gonna flip them over and I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. This is TikTok. Black pepper. Boom, boom. Then I'm gonna go in with some garlic. Oh, garlic, can you open this thing? Put those potatoes in that thing. I don't know if that's too much garlic, y'all, or not. I'm not even a garlic type of bitch, I don't think. But hopefully it just really, you know, sets the tone for these lamb chops. Sure. 
Just showing y'all what I use. Kobe just diced up all the potatoes and now we're putting water in it so we can boil them. I ain't gonna put no more extra. I'ma just use what I got of garlic and put it on the other side. How you know? How you know? Uh, that's enough. Mmm, smells good. I'm sure smacking those damn lamb chops around. Well, I'm flipping them. Whipping and flipping and flipping and flipping and flipping. Okay, and okay, and okay. Smell good, bitch. Smell good. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Ooh, okay, okay. Purr. On to the next. Oh, you guys, I forgot one special ingredient that the man told me specifically not to forget, which was hot sauce. He said add an extra little flavor, extra little key. So I'm gonna add the hot sauce. Oh, it's not good your key. What he doing? He peeing? I don't know what he's doing, but oh, you got beef and back on. Oh, oh. Ooh, woo. Okay. So, other side. Uh, Hot sauce. Yeah. Flipping it up. Flipping it. I'm gonna put a little hot sauce on the other side too, because you know, gotta show a little to both sides. Mm -hmm. Alright. Hi, baby. Mommy. Yes, baby. Wash it. Huh? Butt. You want me to wipe your butt? Okay, guys. I'll be right back, y'all. I gotta, I gotta go wipe my kid, but I'm gonna wash my hands, though. I'm gonna wash my hands, though. Mommy mode. Mm. Okay, you guys. And then one more thing to add is some rosemary. I'm not really familiar with this, so I'm just gonna only add a tiny bit. That's about it. That's what you put it in the bath or it clear skin right up. Rosemary. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Okay, you guys, so this is what the lamb chops looking like. Go neat. Look, sees it to me. Wow, wow. Oh. Okay, so now, y'all, this the noodles. I ain't have a bigger pot than this, child. I ain't know it's gonna be this many noodles. So, this the noodles right here. I'm about to drain these noodles out so that I can go to the next step because we're gonna make the little cheese sauce in the same pot so boom okay you guys so i could be doing this terribly wrong but i'm gonna add a little butter in my thing and then i'm gonna cut up this velveta cheese and put it in here and melt it so i can start my whole cheesy process okay her okay you guys so we back popping her and right now i'm just melting the cheese and the potatoes is boiling it y'all they're going to high Stop this bus! Okay, so now that this is, this is doing good. I'm gonna put some, I don't know if I'm supposed to do it before or after. Like I said, this is, we all learning at the same time here. I'm gonna put some half and half, some cream whip. That's what it's called. I hope it's the right one, child. Cause why I got coffee on it? Is it for anything? Well, people put it in their coffee. It's like a creamer. But I could put it in the uh, oh, it is a Girl, I hope this the right one, y'all. Yeah. They got coffee on this. One, oh, this one don't say healthy whip. This say creamer. Bitch, why don't you just drink that out there, Courtney? Tastes like milk to me. It's healthy. Either way, I'm gonna throw it away. That to, who, who taught you this? <laughs> who taught you this? The man, the man on YouTube. He taught you mac and cheese recipe too? Yeah. He didn't teach you that. Yes, the fuck he did. Go get my phone. No, I'm gonna let you do your thing. Look yeah. like nacho cheese to me. He taught me the recipe. So we gonna get this thing shamil in. Okay. Okay. 
You know what? I'm gonna use this one because this one says heavy whipping cream. I don't know about the other. I'm gonna mix them. So whatever happens. Yeah. You see, this is like a different consistency. Mm, yeah. This might be trial and error, but I think I used the wrong one. I think this is the wrong stuff. Either way, this tastes just like milk, so it's fine. I think we'll be fine. It ain't even sweet or nothing. It just tastes like milk to I me. Mean, I think I put a lot of heavy whipping cream in that though. We just trial and error. Trial and error. You hear that? Oh, call it stir the mashed potatoes. I don't know how to do that. Bitch, you don't know how to stir? What? Who stirs them though? Why are you stirring them? This you know, just make sure they ain't sticking at the pot. They get soft. Oh, huh? this cream rip whip is really getting me in emotion. All right, all right. Go through, we got like all of my babies missing me. So we gonna let that milk. And I hear my like And they told me they put some seasoning in there. Excuse me, hold on, y'all. They told me they put some paprika. I got some paprika right here, but I know I got another paprika. Oh, that would be the cutest name for my little girl. Paprika. He just as hood as they come. We're gonna put a little paprika in this mash. It's me, baby. These mac and cheese. Paprika, oh, paprika. You look just like mommy. Oh, that's a lot of paprika. Bitch, we got a lot, a lot of them. Uh, a little Tony. Little? <laughs> you just poured that in there. Ah! A little pepper. And we stir, stirring, stirring. Girl, that heavy whip really smooth the girls out. Okay, I feel like they doing something now. Okay, seasoned mat, big. Okay, okay. Here he heavy whipping. Okay, all right, y'all. I'll get back with y'all. I'm back with more stuff. Okay. So we got this going. And I think this is doing really good. But he did put like a pack of, I'm gonna put this um, triple cheddar. And it's like creamy milk, triple, triple cheddar in here. I actually put the whole bag of triple cheddar in here. Get out that freezer, boy. Put that in there and stir it. And put some milk, some regular milk, cause girl, I don't know nothing about who ripping or nothing like that. That could be a lot, but hey. We gonna keep stirring and I'll let y'all know what it look like in the end. Okay. Guys, so now the mac and cheese are here. I made a second just had like, ooh, cool mac and cheese. So now we're gonna pull the cheese. Look what your son doing. God, that, oh, oh, I'm whoop his ass. Go sit down. Go sit down. Okay, so. I wonder what made him just sit up there and do that. Just doing stuff. Oh, this is hot. I mean, okay. Alright. No, they have another mint in there. It's a square one. So. I don't know what you do after that. Right. Is that nacho cheese? Right. You think that could be nacho cheese? No, Kobe. I wish it was nacho cheese. Okay. Gonna do a little mixy mix. Girl, my, my mac and cheese, bitch. That's what I sound like. You look gross. Uh, we're gonna mix that. Here. Put some 
slow. Why you just don't pour it in there? I am. I just want to mix it up so that way, like, it won't be all in the same area. You taste that cheese? Mm -mm. It's a surprise. Oh, no. Back up, to. I like it. You like it? That's my favorite. This your favorite? Yeah. Well, when you get older, you know, like, my mama makes some bus and mac and cheese. You get to your body. Period. Y'all see that? That shit wet right there. I ain't gonna count to you. That's wet right there, Kobe. I know you see that shit right there, boy. Uh-uh, that's not milk. All right. All right. Mac. Flatten it out. seasoning on it because I just don't think that was enough seasoning. I mean, it's salty. Call me. In your comment. You don't know how much seasoning these shells be using. You don't know. Okay. I think, I think it's looking real cheesy. How long are you supposed to put mac and cheese in the oven? I don't know, but you just got me together talking about the shit and stuff. All right, y'all. So, boom. Mac and cheese. And then, you go ahead, and I'm going to put this second triple cheddar bag on the top. Her. They said it. Yes, Kobe. They said it. I'm judging my mac and cheese fields. God, I hope this good. Cause this this all I've been wanting. Mac and cheese? I mean, just all I hope like, you know, I got juicy mac and cheese, you know, people they post up on the table. And they got dry mac and cheese. <laughs> I just want to see juicy. Girl, we gonna be sneezing. <laughs> well, I just don't want us to be not seed. All right, I'm gonna pop that bad boy in the oven. Let's see what that's talking about. Huh? Okay, you guys. So now that I baked, I mean, I boiled my potatoes. They look really. Oh, sorry, Misty. Hold on. They look real good. And soft, they all mash. I don't have a potato masher, like, you know, the bougie bitches, but we finna get these mugs real mashed. Finna butter them up, season them. It's lit. So, if y'all can see, the first thing I'm gonna put is a little heavy whip in them things. Get them things real nice and, and moist. And then now I got garlic butter. So, I got these little garlic butter chips. So I'm gonna drop like you put them in a four in that thing. Yeah, garlic mashed potatoes, bitch. You mashed them up yet? Yeah, they mashed. We popping. Oh, we popping. We popping, girl. This is mine. I am a boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I'm gonna put it on low, low heat. We, we, we nice and oh this is this is melting beautifully okay garlic okay Girl, this is oh my goodness this looks so good y'all come see Kobe I'm gonna season them up a little bit put a little pepper I don't like my things too seasoned more strong like two seasons because the way I've been saying yeah. sprinkle. Come, come. You're doing something, huh? That's real crisp so right there. First. I put some huh? butter in there. So. What? You put uh, heavy cream in there? I put uh, garlic butter in there and heavy cream. 
can show y'all what they looking like. Purr. Don't play with that girl. She will. Let me get a scoop out of there. Somebody gotta taste it. Go ahead, it's hot. It's hot. Tell me what it's missing. Should we put some real butter in that thing? Hold on, y'all. Cause we gonna taste test them. Already. It damn tastes like nothing. Well, we gotta season them. You gonna see me put a little bit of pepper in them things. But. I hate the garlic. Taste the garlic. All right, well, now we gotta season them. How do one put a little this in? Ponies, everything. Boosh! Copy, don't do that. We probably should put some butter in there. But like, really? Is that the whole point of the freaking garlic butter? No, is it the whole yeah, garlic butter in the heavy whipped cream? Like, so like, I don't know. I ain't never did this before. I don't even know how to cook. We can try butter. It ain't gonna hurt shit. Just look. Put a little butter in there. Bow. A bow. Ruth Christie drowned it in that butter. Yeah, I like it. And don't nobody claim. We don't never complain. So. Oh, what? Boom! Oh, bye. So I sit this motherfucker on his lap. Oh, bye. Girl, come and make the clap. Girl, girl, come and make the Girl, 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 come and I'm gonna right. that at 30 on the dance floor. Ooh. Lord. I'm sorry, I get it from the greens. Come for you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, really good. Hold on. Shut my camera. Yeah, yeah. Good right there. Oh, right. The key for me. If I knew this was gonna take, if I knew the mac and cheese is gonna be the longest thing, now we eat that mac and cheese when the lamb chop's done. Either way, I'm gonna put a top on this. Yeah, cause that stuff is okay. cooked, baby. Ain't nobody got time to be waiting. Nope. About. Okay, you guys. So it's time to make the lamb chops. I thought I was recording. A, my camera was a little down, fully on the pan. But as you guys can see, I put three chips of garlic butter. In my pan, I put it on the heat. Once the garlic butter melts, I'm going to put my lamb chops in. I'm going to put, uh, the man told me to put them on like fat first. So I put them on the side and then I end up flipping them on the face. I didn't really time how much time I did each side. I just kind of like eyeballed it. So, you know, you can fry it to your liking or cook it to your liking.
you guys, so I'm back. Lamb chops are cooked to the tea, baby. Period, nice and juicy. Okay, so I made the broccoli in, in a bag. You know me, bitch. I don't need no fancy broccoli. But, close this. I made it in a bag, so I'm gonna just cut this open. Cut this open. Put some seasoning in there. Shake it up. We ready to fix a plate. Okay. Some seasoning in there. Put the broccoli. Put the broccoli. Butter in there. Seasoning. Oh, but that's a lot of seasoning. No, it's empty. Like, it's empty at the end. Cause no Should I just put a garlic, garlic butter chip in there? I should put regular butter. Regular butter. Get some butter. That's true. That's true, Tia. Get a little scoop of butter. Put it in that thing. We shaking it up. Put it in the bag. Let that sit. Put that stuff right there. Ooh, that away. Ooh, that, bro that broccoli hot, bitch. Okay. And y'all, I washed the dishes with this bitch. If you wait until the end, then the dishes will not be your friend. <laughs> Too much work at the end, y'all. So clean as you go. Know that I repeat, clean as you go. I'm not gonna wait no 40 minutes and all that for the mac and cheese to like sit and all that. Me and Kobe, we ready to eat, but the mac and cheese. It's looking busting. Y'all see that? Like, first ever time making mac and cheese in the oven. I think it look good. Okay. And I pre made Kyle's plate. I doubt he's gonna eat any lamb chop, but I made him mac and cheese. And I just set it to the side because I know it's gonna be hot. So, I'm ready to make my plate. This is exciting. Uh, Y'all need to see me making this plate. I'm gonna. Put, put the camera strictly on the plate, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna start off with the mash. Should've made this a real. Trying to get that money. Okay, creamy mash, her. Little mash right there, that's all you need. Cup, you wanna fix? I always fix your plate, you want me to fix your plate? Yeah, these are cute. All right. All right, well, I'm gonna put it right here, y'all, so we can, I can fix both of our plates. Outside of each other. Real aesthetically pleasing. Well, Kobe, I don't know about, I'm, I'm gonna try my best, because I want it to be cute, too. Okay, a little mash. Well, we should have more than that. That's what I was thinking, but I ain't had no, uh, Bacon. Mash. Boom. So you're going to get this mac and cheese out the oven. Okay. Mac and cheese out the oven. Per Asian persuasion. Okay. I'm going to make a little video for my Instagram. Let's hope that it's hitting. I'm scared, y'all. I'm back to cheese, thank you. Girl, let's see if you pass the test. All right, y'all, so we back. I don't know if my shit passed the test, but it's, y'all hear that? That's that fire right there. Mac and cheese. Mind you, we ain't keep ours in there on 40 minutes and shit. It's cold. Oh, 
whole piece because he like aesthetically pleasing. He got a tiny bit of a crust on there. Mac and cheese, bitch. I don't know what we're gonna do with this big ass, fat ass thing of mac and cheese, y'all. Okay. Let's get some to our neighbors. Today, taking on mac and cheese is <laughs> Okay. So, mac and cheese. On both plates. It's time for the broccoli. Got that butter in there, it's melted. Broccoli. Let me throw that away. Broccoli. Her butter, oh, butter. This is a big man plate, y'all. Trash. That one yours. Which one? The big man plate. Yeah. No, that's yours. You the man, Miss. I ain't no girl. <laughs> um, gotta watch my feet. Okay, y'all. So for mine, I would put cheese. On my uh, that's the new cheese broccoli. The no, it's the old one. Oh. Cheese on my broccoli, and to finish it up, lamb. Lamb. Per. My well done sister. I want my like that. Boom. And this is the finished product. Hold on, y'all. Because uh, my man, y'all, my man want to check, but he in the club. Kobe, okay, taste something. Mm. <laughs> Tastes like regular mac? Bitch, back that camera up off <laughs> Uh, my kid, Cobb said the mac and cheese tastes good. Those potatoes are a cold. Oh, because they thought it was cooked first. Sir. And I ain't warm up. Alright, you guys, so it's my turn to taste. Yeah. But I guess the real upgrade is the freaking lamb chops. You suck. Yeah. You suck. Don't tell me I suck. Alright. Now that Wait, I, I got it. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Let me get this. Mine? Tinder. Open this for me. Mm, I like that. That's good. It's not even well done. It's like medium well, real tender. That's how I like my stuff. Medium well. Mm, I like that. Ha <laughs> ha Okay. Now let me make my own stuff pretty. I gotta open my stuff for you. You want to do it? You want one of those two? No. Okay. Here. Come, Amba. Sit down. Go eat those mac and cheese. <sighs> Hold on, y'all. I gotta make a video. It's on my page.
Bye. Yeah, this is the good. Yum, 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 yum. My mac and cheese for sure is buzzing. I can really sit everything in the microwave. <laughs> but it's definitely good. Let me test my own lamb chop. This tastes like a restaurant, baby. Mmm, just bless me. Tastes like the restaurant, baby. Mmm. Now, Kobe's. Sorry, y'all. Kobe's was a little bit more follow the bone. Baby, because she had his little. Mm. Well, let's just say something. I would have made brunch. <laughs> Here. Ten out of ten. Yeah, he loves his best friend look. Oh yeah. <clears throat> Go ahead with Thomas like, alright, hold on. No. Okay you guys, so the food was super delicious. We actually made leftover plates for tomorrow. I only ate one of my lamb chops, so Kobe plate, Kobe left those plate looks nothing like mine, but that's my little plate for tomorrow. <laughs> Can't wait to eat that. Super excited to eat that, actually. And, yes, you know how when you cook, you know, my mom's out there, or my chefs, or cookers out there, you know, <laughs> me. My mom used to tell me this, like, when she cook a full meal, she don't be as hungry as, you know, the people who eating it, if that makes sense. So I just wasn't that hungry. I think I, I just overall wanted to cook something and give y'all some cooking content, but I'm not that hungry. I'm actually pretty full after the little I ate, huh? What did you eat? Um, I really don't remember. That Popeyes? Yeah, I ate the Popeyes. What does this go to? Uh, the toilet thing. No, it's clean. It had, it's fresh out the packet. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a toilet cleaner thing. Oh, the scrubber thing. Yeah, but it's like the holder for the scrubber. Anyways, you guys, I wasn't as hungry, but I'm definitely going to eat a lot tomorrow. But thank y'all so much for tuning in if this video was helpful and I was more, I was in detail as I could be. But if this video was helpful and y'all end up doing this, make sure you guys let me know and tell me. Oh, let me give y'all the man who recipe I uh, followed to make this and shout out to him for teaching us how to cook. His name is Law Cannon. This is him right here. That sounds so familiar. I think I've seen him on my school page on Instagram. Cooking yeah. stuff? Yeah, he probably make real. This is his um his page, so shout out to him. Uh, I made this meal. Sorry, I got a little mashed potatoes on my finger. I made this meal from following his instructions, so shout out to him. The lamb chops was delicious. I followed line by line of everything he told me to do, and it was amazing. So I can definitely see myself following his things again. If y'all want to see a more professional and in-depth video, make sure you guys go and subscribe to his channel. Make sure you guys go and subscribe to Kobe's channel. It will be in the description below. Also, subscribe to Kaiser's channel because we will be posting on there soon. Hopefully, fingers crossed, you know, maybe. Anyways, thank y'all so much for tuning in. We're about to go to sleep, but make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. We love you guys so much. Bye.